players is uh, shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, just a lot of mistakes, and you know, we've been saying it for a, a minute since spring ball. Just the details we have to work on, and um, you know, Monday come, we, we're going to go in there, head up, and you know, just work on what we have to work on. What was working well for you guys there in the fourth quarter when you were actually able to get a couple drives going and get the end zone? Um, you know, just having a drive, not not to not to give up. Um, you know, I think that was just the biggest thing, going around and making sure everybody set is up, um, uh, and just making sure everybody still has a drive. It's, it's so much time on the on the uh, clock, and we have to go in there, we have to finish. So why not shock the world? Um, and I think that was just the message that I, I wanted to go around and, and t- tell the guys, the O line, the tight ends, the receivers, the quarterbacks, just make sure everybody's head is head is up, and we have to go in there and finish. Have you had to- First play of the game, it looked like there was miscommunication in, in the backfield. I'm sure that's something you you scripted, but what what went wrong on, on that play? Um, that was on me. I should have just stayed patient and uh, you know waited for Jackson to put the ball uh, in, in my hands. Uh, so that was on me. Have you had much of a chance to talk to Jackson since I guess since halftime and then after the game? Um, I was talking to him uh, a lot during the game, just uh, making sure you just keep your head up. And, you know. Um, I mean, we, we leave it up to the coaches, and no matter this, what decision they make, I know it's going to be a great decision. So um, we got two great guys, and uh, no matter who's in, it's going to get the job done. So um, I believe in both of them. I love them both. How did he kind of handle that? Because it's got to be tough four starts in to get pulled after having a few turnovers like that. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough to anybody. Um, I mean, uh, but at the end of the day, we have to, you know, just keep going. And um, I think he did a great job with just not, you know, having a sad face or, being pouty, he just had his head up, you know, just cheering on his teammates. So, um, no, no matter what it is, you got to keep going. What was it like watching Mike come in and kind of get his heart to um, It was a great feeling. You know, I'm, I'm proud of him. Um, I've been telling him for a cool minute to, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen. And um, uh, you never know when, when your chance is going to be. So, uh, I think he did an excellent job of coming in, you know, a couple throws and uh, a couple times he had to put the ball in his hand and, and run. So, I think he did a good job coming out there and finishing. What feels different about the offense when it's Mike running it? Um, I mean, it's it's two great QBs, so it's it's not really um, you know, a huge difference to me. I think they're I mean they're they're both good to me, so any decision that the you know coaches make is, is a great decision. Did we see a big step up in competition tonight? Just um, from who you were playing previously to who Tennessee is right now. Was that was that obvious? In film preparation, or did it happen out on, out there on the field? I mean, uh, film prep. Uh, I mean, we knew they had a pretty good defense, but uh, at the end of the day, when we went out there, I think it was just a lot of things that offensively the players we had messed up on, and uh, it was just a little detail. So, like I said, we shot ourselves in the foot, and um, we, we just have to fix those mistakes on Monday. What was the message in the locker room when the offense got the ball after those turns? Um, just keep going. You know, we made a lot of mistakes, but uh, don't don't hold it back. You know, just next play mentality. And um, I think uh, Demarco did a good job with just installing that in me because I know I'm a competitor. So anytime I do good or do bad, I'm always gonna feel like I could have did more. So uh, just next play mentality. And um, you know, we went in there, we talked, chopped it up. You know, just had to keep the energy going. For I mean. Jackson and, you know, Mike, they're still different in some ways. Their games are different. So what adjustments are you having to make? Is there, like, how many adjustments are there? What are the adjustments? Um, It's not really a lot of adjustments. I mean, whatever pretty much the coaches do is, is uh, what we're going to follow. So, um, I mean, like I said, we just, we just follow whatever the coaches' decisions are. And, you know, um, whatever decision they're, make, they're making, I know it's going to be a good one. So.